We get a lot of questions about why Tossel's wearing a collar uh, when she has it on, and it, it's part of a research project. We're collaborating with a scientist from the U.S. Geological Survey, and he has a lot of questions about how polar bears behave in the wild. It's very difficult to study polar bears. It's, it's actually notoriously difficult and expensive to get to where they are and directly observe their behavior. So what we've had an opportunity to do here at the Oregon Zoo is train Tossel to wear that collar. What he's putting in there is an accelerometer, and that's similar to something you would find in your smartphone. It's how your phone knows when you're turning it upside down or sideways. And so it's responding to very subtle motions on the bear's part, walking, sitting, uh, even sleeping for long periods of time, or running. And then the, the researcher can actually videotape her wearing the collar and match the signals that he's getting with the behaviors that Tossel's performing. And when he goes and puts a collar on a wild bear, he can interpret those signals and actually analyze what kind of behaviors the polar bear is doing minute to minute. This model is just a training collar. On a wild bear, the researcher would install a quick release mechanism where they can have the collar fall off once they have the data that they need. Now that she's wearing the collar, we were actually able to mount a small camera on the collar itself to really give people a, a polar bear's eye view. Tossel's really responded well to the training. She's used to spending time with her keepers every morning and learning new behaviors and cooperating with them. Uh, and so this was really just one more challenge for her. And she seemed very interested and participated willingly. Um, I think she's a very curious bear. Seems like she is very interested in all the extra attention she's getting from keepers. And if we can help biologists develop some tools to better and more quickly understand what bears are doing and how they're responding to changes. I really think that's one of the roles of a zoo. We want to educate our visitors, we want to get them excited about polar bears, we want them to think about their actions in relation to climate change, but we also want to make sure that these animals, when possible, are contributing to the larger base of knowledge about their species.